Hi everyone, Debbie Cork here. I've um, just got my phone sorted out so I thought I'd make the video of the three tier book that I just finished. Uh, this was inspired by uh, Carla at Cage Fish and this year was supposed to be about finishing projects but I've wanted to do this for a long time so I decided when I needed a holiday project to take it with me. Um, <clears throat> so I'll start to flick over. There's a lot of flicking over on this one. So the before I went I made the cover and I cut out the pages from card and I decided on the theme of autumn so I packed all the pictures that had um, reds, oranges, pinks, those sorts of colours. It's not easy to show you this one and um, also took things like book pages, uh, this is some old diagram paper from my, my dad and packed that along with scissors and a glue stick and the thread and needle that I'd need to put it all together and set off. So I um, went to Cornwall in the southwest coast of uh, England and had a very wet and wild week which was uh, great for bracing walks and after we'd had a walk and had lunch out we then uh, managed to do quite a bit of crafting so it was possible to finish this project in a week which was fabulous because anyone who knows me knows that I'm great at starting things but not so good at finishing them so it was a great opportunity to um, have a go and try and uh, see if how, how I got on so the actual book is four inches wide um, it has it's nine and a half inches tall and it has a spine of three, three quarters of an inch so three signatures in all and it was great fun to do I love using magazine images and one of those strange people that enjoys fussy cutting so uh, collecting the images is never a problem and <clears throat> it's a nice size to be working on quite small the actual pages I used um, index cards that used to be my dad's music recording system um, which is nice to see those and the backgrounds were things like uh, music paper um, some pages from my shorthand notebook uh, handwriting primer uh, just ordinary book text, including some large print uh, book text. I'm hoping that I'll be able to use it as a language sort of development tool with my grandson. I've used wax thread to st stitch it together so that um, it's fairly substantial. I don't think it's going to come apart and with card pages as well. I think it's going to, to be um, be okay. I'm not sure he's quite young yet, so not sure if it's going to be uh, any use, but um, I thought it'd be quite nice, nice as a picture book. Um, when I was putting it together, um, I didn't do very well with the measuring. Um, it's not my strong point. Um, I managed to um, get them all into the book, but as, as you can see, there's a big gap uh, between the second and the third one just here and the result of that I'll show you in just a minute we get to the end oh I didn't manage to turn the pages all together but it doesn't matter um, the result at the end was that um, the top ones stick out a little bit um, but as it's the first one I've made I wasn't too bothered the um, the cover I just stamped with painted with acrylic paint uh, and used a hand stamp circle stamp that we'd made with Carla um, some months ago now and um, just stamped that over the cover you can see the spine there with the three signatures in and the same on the back so there you have it three tier book uh, thanks very much to Carla for the inspiration thank you